Okay, this, what I have on a screen is a simulator for uh, an AMS iPanel. And so it's the same for all the things here. So basically, I'm going to go through the thing on the simulation. This is blue screen. So this is before you've hit the ready button, which is, look what the icon is. That's the ready button. So before you hit the ready button, a couple of things you need to know. If you want to change the scale, see this says 100%, you would change this and you could change the scale here. 100%, you could change it up or down, whatever you need. Okay, and then you can just save it and you'll see it here. If you want to get to the patterns, you press right where the center of the pattern is and you'll see other patterns listed down here. If you want to get to the memory switch functions, there's two levels. Memory switch, so you're pressing the M button. If you just press it once, you're going to get the, the, the main level. So here, this is the first level of memory switches. These are other things that you don't really need unless you're you're required to like this one here goes to onboard programming this changes the screen a little bit but for the most part you're accessing this for the memory switches to get to the second level you're going to press the m button and hold it and you're going to see the screen change okay when you hit this arrow you are get the second level of memory switches and here you'll be able to get all the k series of memory switches these other functions here, this shows ports, which normally you wouldn't touch. These lock things, which you're not locking that. So, and this is for if you're doing a milling section. This is where you would format a thumb drive. Or a CF card, this tells you the version of the sewing machines. This tells you the input and outputs that you can test. This is for simplified programming. So basically to get to the memory switches, you have the one here, okay? And there's the other one that's here for two. 